थैंक यू सर केस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू टेल अस अबाउट यू यस सर थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सर फॉर गिविंग मी दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी आई एम विकेश कुमार गौ आई बिलोंग टू डिस्ट्रिक्ट कुशीनगर कुशीनगर इज अ इंटरनेशनल टूरिस्ट प्लेस ड्यू टू लॉर्ड बुद्धा आई हैव कंप्लीटेड माय स्कूलिंग फ्रॉम कुशीनगर इटसेल्फ एंड आफ्टर दैट आई हैव कंप्लीटेड माय ट्वेल्थ फ्रॉम गोरखपुर एंड आफ्टर दैट आई हैव कंप्लीटेड माय बीटेक इन कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग ब्रांच फ्रॉम एस आर इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ मैनेजमेंट एंड टेक्नोलॉजी लखनऊ एंड आफ्टर दैट आई हैव क्वालिफाइड फॉर द गेट एंड टेक टू एडमिशन इन द एन आई टी भोपाल फॉर माई एम टेक इन सी एस सी ब्रांच विथ स्पेशलाइजेशन ए आई एंड सर आफ्टर दैट आई ज्वाइन इन्फोसिस वेयर आई हैव वर्क फॉर सिक्स मंथ एज अ सिस्टम इंजीनियर ट्रेनिंग एंड आफ्टर दैट सर आई एम प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर द पी एस यू जॉब एंड माई हॉबीज आर प्लेइंग क्रिकेट एंड लिसनिंग म्यूजिक एंड दैट्स ऑल अबाउट मी सर तो यू ज्वाइन टी सी एस इन्फोसिस सर इन्फोसिस यस सर वो आर यू स्टिल वर्किंग विद इन्फोसिस Uh, no sir i left that company in january 2023 so why did you leave this uh, good organization i uh, yes sir actually uh, initially uh, initially i was thinking like that ki i was getting some technical domain uh, but they put me in the different domain in which i was not interested so i decided to leave that company okay so in which uh, domain you are interested to work Uh, sir i was interested in some uh, development domain or network security or something like that sir but they put me in totally different one that is sap mm which is a system application products in data processing okay so suppose you join hcl yes sir and we also put you in some different domain yes sir we don't give you uh, we don't allocate you the uh, department of your own choice yes sir then uh, what will you do i uh, know sir actually in when joining the hcl i am i have i actually i know that i will apply for that post that is management training and i have mentally prepared for that post but in the infosys during the join i was uh, basically they are uh, in uh, infosys they pr uh, provide two types of training first is generic training and then they provide stream training so generic training is common for all over the student but in stream training they may provide some random student to the different type of technical so i was thinking like that i was getting uh, some technical so i decided to leave that company but in hcl i mentally prepared that i am applying for, for this role so i decided i am ready to join uh, hcl sir okay so you have done mtech also yes sir so what was your mtech project Uh, yes sir my mtech thesis was the uh, imputation uh, uh, hybrid approach for imputation of missing value using clustering and weighted nearest neighbor approach knn yes sir yes sir knn okay so do you know uh, in detail about this knn algorithm uh, sir uh, uh, not too much detail but yes i know the basic basic you have done mtech na you have done project also yes sir So in KNN, uh, in your project while using the KNN algorithm, yes. Sir. How many uh, k? The value of k. What value of k did you use? Uh, sir, I choose the uh, k value of. Uh, I have taken the sample data and we choose the under root. Like suppose that we are taking the uh, uh, under root. We are taking the hundred hundred uh, data as a sample data. So I will do the k value as a under root ten. So it will around ten. Value of k you have taken ten. Yes, sir. So suppose we have a point three comma five. Yes, sir. And another point we have eight comma twelve. Yes, sir. So can you tell me the Manhattan distance between these two points? Ah uh, yes, sir. So Manhattan distance between these two points. Ah, uh, actually, sir. Ah, uh, can you repeat the point again? Ah, uh, three comma five and eight comma twelve. Three comma five and eight comma twelve. Yeah. So, what is the Manhattan distance between these two points? Ah, uh, sir, it will be a twelve. Basically, we took the coordinate value as a uh, we subtract the coordinate value and take the modulus value, sir. So. Okay. So, in your project, in your project, what, what distance matrix you have taken? And sorry, sir. Actually, there is a mistake in thing. I think eight three. Eight three comma five. 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 Eight three comma five.
and mm. plus 12 minus 5. 5 plus, yes, sir. What is yeah. your answer? Yes, sir. 12, 12. Okay. 8 minus 3 plus 12 minus 3. <clears throat> okay. Now tell me which distant metric did you use in your project? Sir, I use Euclidean distance matrix, sir. Euclidean. Okay. So if we have three points, can we compute the equivalent distance? Suppose one, uh, three coordinate we have one, two, four, and three, seven, nine. So can you compute? Three, seven, nine. Uh, sir, I think uh, no, we can't con uh, compute because in Euclidean distance, we take only two coordinate at a time and the Euclidean distance formula is that under root uh, x2 minus x1 to whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. So I think we can conclude only uh, two point at a time. Then uh, suppose we have three points, then what will you, what will and you do? Sir, uh, sir, then we take the pair of the three points, like suppose they are three point A, B and C, then we, we took the A, B and then B, C and then A, C. So we find the minimum value and uh, we can uh, confirm. Points our... are only, we are having only two points. Each point has three coordinate. So you cannot yes. come to the equivalent distance, right? Uh, okay, now simply tell me a difference between supervised learning and unsupervised learning. Uh, yes, sir. supervised learning, basically in which uh, supervised learning, there is a class defined, but in unsupervised learning, there is not uh, de class defined. For example, suppose that we are, uh, uh, we are uh, classify the data like human beings. So there is a class defined like it will be male or female or transgender, it can be. Uh, but if we are going for the unsupervised learning, so there is not classified. It's like it can be if we put the different, different type of data in the same basket. Okay. Yes. Only this yes. difference you are telling. Uh, yes. So this KNN you have used, is this is supervised or Unsupervised. Uh, KNN supervised. I'm sorry, sir. I think I'm forgetting. Can I think, sir, unsupervised learning? Okay. So, do you know about the uh, HAL in detail? What HAL is doing actually? Yes, sir. I know something about HAL. Like uh, HAL is a. So there is one attack helicopter made by HAL, uh, HAL. Can you tell me the name of that? Attack helicopter. Yes, sir. Dhruva. Dhruva. Light combat. Uh, loud light combat helicopter. Dhruva is attack helicopter, sir. And okay. fighter there is a gas turbine R&D center of HAL. Do you know where is that? Uh, sir, I don't know exactly that uh, which uh, center is a gas turbine center, but there is 11 total 11 R&D center. So. I think, sir, gas turbine center which is in state governments NASA. are uh, customers of HAL. Can you tell me which Indian state governments? Uh, Indian state government, sir, I think uh, state of Jharkhand and state of uh, Maharashtra, sir, I think. Only two? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. And the previous question will answer, I think, sir, then Nasik. HAL Nasik is the gas turbine center, I think, sir. Okay. Okay, Mukesh sir, you can continue. Okay, thank you, sir. Oh, uh, am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. Okay. Uh, tell me uh, first of all, what are your favorite subjects, Vikesh? My favorite subjects, uh, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. Sir, my favorite subjects uh, are computer network and data structure. Okay. So first of all, uh, uh, first of all, tell me uh, what is the recurrence relation for binary search? A recurrence relation for binary search, sir. Binary, uh, binary search. 2t n by 2 plus n, sir. T n is equal to 2t n by 2 plus n. So if you use this recurrence relation uh, and apply master theorem to it, what will be the time complexity that will come out of it? Uh, sir, then I think a value two and b value two and to the power log a base two to the power n f and n. Sir, I think sir n log n. And what is the time complexity of binary search? 
time complexity of binary search, sir, uh, log n search, sir, I think. So, but your reference relation is telling you that it is uh, n log n. Kindly turn on your camera, please. Sir, I have, oh, sorry. Yes, so the yes. reference relation that you are uh, telling me, uh, the time complexity comes out to be n log n, but it should be log n, no? Ah, uh, yes, sir. So it should the reference relation should be t n t of n by two plus some one. constant. Yes, sir. One, I think yes. Sir. Because yeah. you divide the array into two parts, but you yes. only take the one side of the array. Uh, yes. So you are taking t of n by two only, and uh, while dividing the time complexity for dividing is order of one only. So it uh, will yes. not have any. Okay. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Okay. No issue. No issue. So okay. Uh, Let's say that you have been given a post order traversal. Okay. So sir. the post order traversal, write it is four ten six. One minute. Sir. Yes, I am writing. Four ten six. Four ten six nine two one. Nine two one. So this is a post order traversal for binary search tree. Okay, sir. Post so what order. will be the in order uh, traversal of this tree? Ah uh, yes, sir. One minute, I am doing. One, two, four, six, nine, ten. Yes, sir. In order will be one, two, four, six, nine, ten. Basically, sir, in order give the ascending order of the element of the binary search tree. In yes. order, yes. Okay. Can you tell me ah uh, what is quadratic probing? Uh, yes, sir. B this is used in the hashing when we are doing the hashing for the data. So, <clears throat> if we are going to access the data, then we use the uh, access the time in order of one using hashes. So, there is a different different types of methods in which quadratic hashing is occur. So, quadratic hashing, so there is a function uh, hash function, and we in uh, quadratic probing. Uh, if the collision has occurred, then we uh, resolve the that collision using quadratic hash. There are different types of function, but uh, we can resolve the uh, collision through the quadratic hash function. Sir. So, what is the uh, issue with quadratic probing? For probing, then what is the problem with uh, quadratic probing? Uh, sorry, sir, I don't know exactly at this time, but can I guess, sir? Sorry, uh, sorry, sir. Exactly, I don't know at this time. Can I guess? Actually, I am little bit confused. Okay, go on, go on. Uh, yes, sir. <clears throat> so, in quadratic probing, basically there are two type: primary collision, secondary collision. So, in primary collision, if some data are occurring and it collide for some uh, first time, so uh, uh, to remove the uh, primary collision, we go for the second, uh, second, uh, second uh, time. So we can say that the, it can uh, it can remove the collision for the second time. I think so. This is for the quadratic probing. Okay, but I was asking the problem. So the problem is that sometimes uh, there will be a pattern generated in quadratic probing that first you will see the first, uh, let's say first slot, yes. and then let's say second, then fourth, let's say then eighth, then tenth. And then you will repeat uh, after some time the order in which you are checking the slots will be repeated. So it's those those slots which quadratic probing is checking. When you are checking by quadratic probing, if those slots are filled, and you are not checking the slots which are not filled, so there are chances that you will miss the slots so, which are empty. Yes. yes. So there are chances uh, regarding that. Okay. Let's say that you have uh, a linked list. Okay, sir. And you have to find the Uh, like link list, there is a straight line of nodes. After that, there is a circle at the end of it, okay. and you have to find the circle in the link list. How will you do it? So, sir, I think this is the concept of circular link list. And... No, 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 not circular link list. First, there is a line of nodes, and then at the end, there is a, a, a circle like this. node starts from here you will go till here and then there will be a circle here uh, i'm sorry sir i am not i am not able to answer this
Okay. Okay. Can you tell me uh, some of the applications of breadth first search? Breadth first search. Sir, graph traversal, it can be a breadth first application of breadth first search. And uh, another one is graph traversal. And And we can find the sir, uh, nearest neighbor, uh, nearest neighbor of the node, we can find of a graph. But I'm uh, sorry, sir, I know only graph traversal using breadth first search. Uh, but what are the applications? Uh, neighbor nodes is correct. Like you can find the neighbor nodes by BFS. Other than that, some other application. Okay, there are many. You can find a cycle in the graph using graph yes, first. Yes, yes. Now you I can find that. whether the graph is connected or not. Because if you have to apply breadth first search more than one time, then the graph is disconnected. Yes. After yes. that, if a graph is unweighted, you can find the minimum spanning tree. Yes. And also, you if the graph is weighted, you can normally find the spanning tree. It will not be minimum because the mm -hmm. Weights are uh, there are weights in the group, but if it is an un, un, unweighted group, uh, unweighted graph, then you can find the uh, your uh, minimum spanning trees also. Uh, sir, I was thinking like that um, for minimum spanning tree, we just only follow the Prims and Kruskal and, and no, but uh, you see, if you have a graph which does not which have does not have weights, or you can say that which have weights which are equal, every edge is having two 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 weights. Yes, sir. Then there uh, it does not matter that which you uh, which uh, tree you take first so a simple spanning tree will be equal to the minimum spanning tree so in that case you can also find minimum spanning tree if the edge weights are all equal or they it is an unweighted uh, graph okay sir. okay uh, so uh, according to me uh, vikesh uh, you need a little bit of a little uh, you need uh, a lot of revision for data sectors because most of the answer you were not able to uh, answer correctly and uh, the answer that you were able to answer, try to uh, answer those questions in a more technical way rather than in a layman term. Try to include okay, more technical words so that it shows that you are having the technical understanding of the subject. Okay, sir. You don't need to uh, explain uh, uh, like uh, you are explaining in a layman terms. So try to use more technical words. And uh, for the question that in the link list, how to find the cycle, try uh, hair and tortoise algorithm, right? Uh, here and tortoise algorithm for link list and try to uh, understand that algorithm that is the algorithm you that will be used in that okay sir. okay over to you mukesh sir okay thank you, okay. Sir. Thank you aman sir so um, other than that which subject you prepared uh, algorithm and data structure uh, uh, computer network sir computer network and what about algorithm database management system uh, yes, sir. I know database. Right. So start with the computer network. Can you define the word computer and network? Uh, sir, uh, basically computer is a system, but uh, when we uh, combine more than one network, more than one or two uh, computer through the network, it becomes a host. And the network is just... Sir, so uh, you are saying that computer is a system. System means what? Uh, system means, sir, uh, some electronic gadgets. Yeah, that's why you have to say formally, what do you mean by computer? Can you define that term computer? Sir, computer is an electronic device which takes some input and after processing, they provide some output. Fine. What are the main components of a computer? Uh, sir, CPUs, Central Processing Unit. Okay, and? And memory also, sir. Memory. And? Is... and uh, if you have only CPU and memory, can you do that your task? No, sir. For that, uh, we can. Uh, so most important thing is that power should be there. You require input devices. You require output, output devices. Output devices. Fine. Yes, yes, sir. So, great. So now tell me the computer network word. Can you define the word computer network? Uh, sir, uh, the num uh, computer network define. We can define as the computer which are connected through the network for the communication purpose or some other purpose sir okay 
can you define the different type of network based on the region or the location or the distance uh, yes sir there are many type like uh, mesh topology in which uh, uh, different types uh, many computers are connected no, i am talking about pan lan wan man oh okay sir so sir there are uh, wide uh, wan like wide area network local area network and uh, sir uh, vpn virtual private network uh, these are some uh, networks sir okay so can you tell me the what is tcp and udp and what is the difference between them sir tcp and udp are used for the transfer protocol when we are sending it from one side that uh, data from one side to other side so tcp use sir connection connection oriented is the tcp while the udp need not uh, required any connection it can be without connection oriented so uh, this is the basic difference between sir tcp and udp can you give me one more difference uh, and sir udp uh, in tcp as well as udp they have different header types but in udp the header size is fixed that and uh, while in tcp the header size vary sir why uh, uh, tcp like 20 to 60 byte header size may, may be while in uh, udp there should be 8 byte i think sir what is the difference between ipv4 and ipv6 uh, yes sir ipv4 and uh, ipv6 these are the two basic uh, net, uh, network for the ip addressing while ipv4 has the uh, octet value 4 octet value while ipv6 had uh, has a 128 bit IP address, sir. While IP before has only 32 bit IP address. Other than that, any other differences? Uh, sir, uh, in IP in IPv6, we can't uh, broadcasting. While in IP before, we can do broadcasting. So uh, basically, IP before is a classful addressing, so like class A, class B, class C, and class D and class E. While uh, IPv6 is not class, uh, uh, IPv6 you can say classless uh, addressing, because of, uh, due to the some uh, problem in IPv4 we go for the IPv6. Like in IPv4, uh, if we are if we need some. What is count to infinity problem? Uh, yes, sir. Count to infinity problem occur in sir uh, distance uh, distance vector routing protocol, and it, okay. to remove the count infinity we use. TTL time to leave. So basically, count to infinity problem is that if suppose that we are going to send a packet from me side to other side, and it is not getting their destination in the minimum time, so it will just uh, go to the other, um, I mean other mic, uh, other system address, IP address. Then it will not find destination. Uh, it, will, it will go for other system IP address. It will not. Then it, if there is not uh, find, then it will be looping. So it occurs in count to infinity problem. So to avoid, we use TTL time to leave. Why we do normalization? Uh, sir, uh, we do normalization because of our data can be uh, look uh, can uh, to reduce the redundancy in the data, and we can fetch easily data, sir. So if I have a functional dependency A to B, so can I say A is always a key if I a b c d is a um, like um, functional dependency and i can say a determine b b determine c and c determine d then can i say a is my candidate key or primary key for my table uh, no sir because a, a cannot a to b b to c yeah and c to d yes sir then it can be candidate key sir how because sir using a we can determine all attributes of the relation like a b c d so a but can... there may be chance that repetition of a is there in the a column uh, because functional dependency does not says that the value should be should not be duplicate like if the what is the definition of functional dependency can you just tell me sir functional dependency means the attribute uh, dependency between attributes like if there are attributes uh, three to four attributes then what is the dependency between that attribute like uh, as you given the uh, example a to b b to c and c to d no the functional dependency says that if we have two tuples and two attributes suppose then yes. the t1 dot first attribute is if equal to t2 dot first attribute then t1 dot y attribute should be equal to t2 dot y attribute yes or no yes sir 
that means that if we have two tuples having the value x and y, having the attribute x and y in having the value x1 x1 in both the tuples then their y value should be same y1 y1 yes sir so how in this case x determine y and y also determine x can you say x is a key or y is a key but there is a repetition of x and y uh, yes sir so functional dependency does not say that if you can determine all the things then um, uh, i will be the key no if there is no repetition then only the key fine okay sir. what is the use of indexing sir indexing is used to store the data and if you want to fetch the data so we can easily fetch the data indexing is used to store the data uh, uh, no sir i mean uh, indexing indexing is used for the uh, in some table we are storing the data and we find the uh, exact location for that data sir you so formally you can say that it is used to reduce the io cost yes sir fine can you define the primary index uh, yes sir in primary index uh, there is a key and key should be in order so <laughs> that uh, we can fetch the data sir easily no that is not a primary index uh, sorry sir i can how you can find out the second highest salary second highest salary sir can you write a sql query okay sir sure mm. yes yes sir sir uh, i know the concept but i don't know exactly what will be the query like suppose there is a imply table so i think it will be a, a select salary from imply where salary should be greater uh, salary greater than uh, maximum salary no maximum salary not will be maximum salary second highest salary okay uh, sorry so sorry. moving towards the feedback part my dear so you if you say that you are, you are a bit comfortable with deep database management system first of all try to learn the formal definition of each and every term and the application fine and the second yeah. term you have to be comfortable with the like sql part fine so try to write the sql at least 30 to 40 problems of sql Okay, Move sir. towards the computer network part. I think we are a bit comfortable in computer network. Fine. So if okay. you want to prepare more regarding the computer networks, just prepare the Linux command as some of the standard Linux command or basic Linux command and then prepare the um, security part. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. So that that is from my side. So yes, sir. Atyagi, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yes. So Vines, uh... We have shared one document with you, so you read that carefully. Okay, sir. About HL. Okay, sir. Like helicopter is Rudra. Yes. Sir. Gas turbine R and D center is at Koraput. Okay, sir. Okay. State governments Karnataka, Maharashtra, Jharkhand. These three governments are working with uh, HL. HL. Yes. Sir. Yeah. And then, uh, this distance, equivalent distance, can be found uh, if we have two points having three coordinates. No problem. Uh, root x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square plus z2 minus z1 whole square. Same concept will be applicable. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay. Yes. Sir. So about AI also, about machine learning, they can ask you about some basic Python programming. They can ask you because okay, you have done MTech, so MTech project. Uh, they will ask. So prepare that about uh, in detail. Okay, sir. And Why sir, you... hello. Yes. Sir, how was the, I mean, supervised learning and that AI concept related question? I mean, answer my, my answer. Quality was not good. Okay, sir. Okay. So increase the quality with example. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. Give definition and then with example. Okay, sir. If they ask some basic question, then uh, make full efforts in that. Okay, sir. And yeah. sir, there, there is one more question. Uh, sir, actually in June 2023, one I... One more important point. Why yes. did you leave Infosys? So that answer is not satisfactory. Okay. Because so, when I asked you about BHL, that uh, if you don't get same thing here, then what will you do? So then you got 
कॉट सो वॉट यू हैव टू आंसर सर इट वाज इट वॉज माई ड्रीम टू ज्वाइन ए पी एस यू ओके सर ओके आई वॉन्ट टू स्पेंड माई लाइफ विथ सम पी एस यू ओके सर इनिशियली आई थिंक दैट आई कैन वर्क विथ सम ऑर्गेनाइजेशन आई कैन लर्न दिंग्स एंड आई कैन ऑल्सो प्रिपेयर फॉर द पी एस यू एग्जाम्स बिकॉज इन रिक्रूटमेंट इन पी एस यू इज कंडक्टेड बाई सेट एग्जाम और थ्रू गेट एग्जाम तो साइड बाई साइड आई वॉज प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर दैट ऑल्सो ओके सर माई जॉब रोल वॉज देयर दैट वॉज नॉट ऑफ माई कोर इंटरेस्ट ऑल्सो and okay. also uh, i was not getting proper time to prepare for psu exam okay sir so then i decided that uh, i will take a risk and i will sit at my home and i will prepare for uh, different psu like hcl okay sir okay. so that is why i left the job and then i started preparing for the interview for a written okay, exam sir. okay sir and now due to my hard work i am here okay sir okay okay thank you sir thank you sir yes sir so, so answer in this manner okay sir okay